While it is important to approach relationship dynamics with trust and open communication, some people believe that certain behavioral cues may indicate deception. It is important to note, however, that these tricks are not foolproof, and interpreting human behavior is difficult. Misunderstandings happen, and some people exhibit these behaviors for reasons other than deception. Having said that, here are five possible psychology tricks for detecting possible deception in a relationship. 1. Actively listen. Pay attention not only to the words but also to any hesitations, pauses, or tone changes. Is their story overly rehearsed or lacking in details? Paying close attention to what is said and, perhaps more importantly, what is not said can be a powerful tool in relationships. Active listening entails not only hearing words but also comprehending the emotions, intentions, and context surrounding them. When you suspect something is wrong, concentrate on truly hearing your partner. Are there any hesitations, changes in tone, or changes in body language that do not correspond to their words? These minor details may indicate that there is more to the story. During conversations, practice active listening. Rather than simply waiting for your turn to speak, make an effort to understand your partner's point of view. Look for cues in their facial expressions, speech cadence, and any hesitations. If something seems out of place or suspicious, approach the situation with empathy rather than accusation. Ask open-ended questions to spark a deeper conversation and create a safe space for your partner to express their thoughts and feelings. Active listening requires both listening and speaking. It creates an atmosphere of openness and understanding, making both partners feel heard and valued. It is not about catching someone lying, but about laying the groundwork for honest and transparent communication in your relationship. Mutual respect is the foundation of trust, so approach these moments with a genuine desire to connect and understand, rather than catching someone off guard. 2. Be aware of your intuition. If something doesn't feel right, don't ignore it. However, don't base your decisions solely on your gut feelings. Discuss your concerns with your partner openly. In any relationship, your gut instinct or intuition can be an invaluable guide. If something feels off or does not match what you know or sense, it is critical to acknowledge and investigate that feeling. Intuition frequently detects subtle cues and energies that are not immediately apparent. It's important to pay attention to internal signals if you find yourself questioning aspects of your partner's behavior or communication. Allow yourself to listen to your instincts without dismissing them completely. If you suspect something is wrong, take a moment to consider why you're feeling this way. It could be a subconscious reaction to subtle changes in behavior, tone, or nonverbal cues. While intuition is valuable, it is critical to balance it with open communication. Rather than making assumptions, use your intuition to spark a compassionate and honest conversation with your partner. Because intuition is not perfect, it is critical to approach discussions with an open mind. Share your feelings and concerns with your partner in a non-confrontational way to foster mutual understanding. Open communication and empathy are the foundations of trust, and using your intuition can be a catalyst for deeper connection and transparency in your relationship. 3. Pay attention to consistency. Take note of how your partner's stories and details align over time. Inconsistencies or contradictions may be red flags, but consider whether they are the result of forgetfulness or genuine changes in plans. One subtle trick to watch for is the alignment, or lack thereof, between what someone says and how they physically express it. Consider this. Your partner says everything is fine, but their body language suggests otherwise. Perhaps they avoid making eye contact, fidget, or their tone does not match the words. It's not about outright catching someone in a lie, but noticing these inconsistencies can be a valuable indicator that there's more beneath the surface. When you're having a conversation, pay attention to the nonverbal cues that accompany the spoken words. Is there ever a time when what they say and how they say it don't quite match? However, it is a delicate dance, as nerves or other emotions can cause similar inconsistencies. Rather than jumping to conclusions, consider it a starting point for a more in-depth, understanding conversation. Relationships thrive on open communication and trust. These cues are more like guidelines than hard and fast rules, and they are easily misinterpreted. If something doesn't feel right, it's often better to express your feelings openly and honestly, creating an environment in which both partners feel heard and understood. Because trust is the foundation of any healthy relationship, treat these cues with caution and understanding. 4. Ask extensive questions. 
Encourage your partner to elaborate on their experiences and feelings rather than asking yes or no questions. This can expose inconsistencies or add context to their story. When you suspect something is wrong in a relationship, how you approach conversations can make a big difference. Rather than asking simple, yes, or, no, questions, consider asking open-ended questions that encourage your partner to share more about their thoughts and feelings. Open-ended questions allow for a more nuanced and honest conversation, illuminating any discrepancies or concerns. Try framing your questions during discussions in a way that encourages detailed responses. Instead of asking, did you have a good day? Try, tell me about your day. What stood out to you? This approach not only shows genuine interest but also allows your partner to share more freely. Take note of the narrative and any inconsistencies that may arise. If something doesn't feel right, resist the urge to accuse and instead express curiosity and empathy. Creating an environment in which your partner feels safe sharing openly can help build trust and understanding. Remember, the goal is not to catch someone lying but to lay the groundwork for open communication. Approach these conversations with an open mind and a willingness to share your own thoughts and feelings. Open-ended questions can help uncover any concerns or issues in the relationship that require attention. 5. Be open and honest in your communication. Open and honest communication is the most important aspect of any relationship. If you suspect your partner is lying, speak up and express your concerns. Inform them of the impact their actions are having on you and your relationship. Open and honest communication is the foundation of any relationship. If you suspect deception or inconsistency, it's critical to express your feelings openly and without judgment. Make a safe space for both partners to express their thoughts and concerns. Be open about your emotions, and encourage your partner to do the same. Instead of accusing, start conversations with a genuine desire to understand. Share your thoughts and feelings by using I statements to express yourself without blaming others. Instead of saying, you're not being honest, you could say, I've noticed some changes, and I'm concerned. Can we discuss it? This approach encourages collaboration rather than confrontation. The goal is not to catch someone lying but to lay the groundwork for open dialogue. Be open to your partner's point of view and avoid making assumptions. Encourage them to share their thoughts and feelings without fear of judgment. By encouraging open communication, you not only address potential concerns but also strengthen your relationship's overall trust and connection. Regardless of the situation, the best approach is to build a strong and trusting relationship. You can lay the groundwork for a healthy and happy relationship by practicing open communication and understanding.